Hey everyone, I hope you're having a great week so far. I am so pleased that you finally gave the Ogryn some love and voted his class to get the next Bill video. This was such a pleasure to create and play. Honestly, mostly because I usually channel my inner space marine whenever I play my Ogryn and I wanted to create a brute of absolute strength. All of my other Ogryn builds usually focus on dishing out tons of damage on all fronts, but this time I wanted to make a focus on monstrosity eradication. So without further ado, let's break down my build promptly named Let Her Rip. Since my hiatus, I actually never got to use any of the pickaxes all that much. But in my testing, I was trying to figure out which one felt right for the job, and I fell in love with the Branks the most. It's rewarding with solid strong strike downs for taking down single target elites, and with its push-shove combo into a heavy, then light attack that you can endlessly chain repeatedly, I knew it was the right tool for the job. With this pickaxe, I actually felt that it dealt damage to all base specialists just fine, but it helps a ton with more damage to unyielding and carapist armored enemies. Aside those perks, I chose Headtaker for the strength increase on hit and Slaughterer for even more strength on kill. Both of these stack 5 times in total, granting us at max stacks 65% more strength. The biggest show of force is when a horde pushes you and you sweep attack endlessly about 1-2 to two times, wiping most of them out. But my true favorite weapon of this build is the Mark V Ripper Gun. This beauty sheds every threat pushing from close quarter combat to range combat. Since my pickaxe can do more close range damage, I needed my Ripper for the range fights and the occasional sniper in the back line. With damage to maniacs and flak armored enemies, this weapon can kill in a few bursts easily with its spread. I decided that since we want to have a nice balance between close range and distance fighting at the same time, Fire Frenzy and Blaze Away create a nice synergetic balance for both options. You can spray at a close range target and build up stacks of damage really quickly, and as you spray you'll build strength while your magazine dwindles down. Now as for Curios, you'll want a nice balance again, as I'm taking two max health Curios and a toughness Curios. On each however, we will want more toughness, toughness regen speed, and of course resistance to gunners. This will even up both sides quite well and give you enough survivability to continue laying down any enemies to rest. Now onto my favorite part of this build, the talent tree. Ogrins are absolute monsters and they deserve to be able to play to that strength. This isn't your average brute though, this one tames beasts to specifically sit down and play dead forever. Okay, without getting too corny, let's just start with the ogren strengths first. Now what makes this build stand out is how quickly you can cut down any big threats for your team. Starting us off, we have Point Blank Barrage. This will send our Ripper into another level of Doom Slaying by tearing the enemy apart with its faster rate of fire, instant reload, and faster reload to the next magazine. This can be amped up even more with Bullet Bravado, which replenishes our toughness with every shot fired and reloaded. This keeps us buckled in so we can focus on the main threat. But to help us out even further, I took Light em Up. This applies two stacks of burn while we shoot when Point Blank Barrage is active. Now I know what you're saying, 80 seconds for a combat ability is a lot of time, but with our keystone ability and its modifiers, it will all be taken care of. So with burst limiter override, we have an 8% chance of triggering lucky bullet, and not consuming any ammo when shooting. That's great, but it's only 8%. That is unless we're also taking more burst limiter overrides. This pulls our chances to 12%, which if my big ogren hands could count that high, is a little bit more than 8 but what really changes our whole cooldown is maximum firepower. This grants us 200% cooldown on our combat ability for 2 seconds whenever we do trigger a lucky bullet. This makes it so whenever we are doing a maelstrom with multiple spawning monstrosities, we can put more focus onto taking them out much quicker and easier. It is extremely important to focus on our team and make sure that they don't get downed or left alone, and if they ever do go downed or are getting swarmed, we have the ultimate party trick, the frag bomb. This should, in theory, create a big enough gap to give them a second to escape or to revive a downed teammate while in the process obliterating any targets that were on top of them in the first place. If that doesn't work, then we can rely on our aura ability, Coward Culling. This makes it so whenever suppression is dealt to the enemy by shooting them, they will also take 20% more damage from everyone in Coherency. And to make sure we can spray and pray freely, we will want ammo stash for the 25% increase to our ammo reserves. With Bruiser, as long as we stay in coherency with our allies, whenever any of us takes down an elite, that's another 4% of our combat ability reduced. This is why this build is perfect for Maelstroms and Auric level difficulties. Now remember that heavy chain I spoke about earlier with our push-shove follow-up? 
With Furious, we gain a 2.5 damage increase with every enemy hit by our heavy melee attack, following up into our next melee attack. To make sure our Ogren can be the best Ogren on the field, we should always take Heavyweight, as this will give us a flat 30% damage increase against all Ogren enemy types, and we get an additional 30% damage reduction against them. Massacre is another great talent that will assist on our killing potential by raising our crit chance a bit so we can trim through the horde a lot faster. This is why I was saying take out any close range targets first with our Ripper before mag dumping a monstrosity. It's so you can actually see the takeaway when chunks of its health come off. And there's more damage to be had when our crit chance is even higher. Assisting in between reloads is reloaded and ready. This gives us 15% more range damage for 8 seconds after reloading, so keep this in mind when using point blank barrage as it will instantly reload for you, proccing this in the process. And make sure you hit and shoot everything you can, because with Soften Them Up, all enemies damaged by us will take up to 15% more damage for 5 seconds. This can help out all of your allies that get in a bad rut with any pressing elites or maniacs. Now, let's talk about our defensive capabilities, because strength isn't all about damage. One of the better talents for everyone on the team is using Get Stuck In. This allows everyone in Coherency to gain 20% movement speed and immunity to stuns and suppression for 4 seconds. Again, using our combat ability to open up the way for everyone, not just ourselves. Lynchpin will secure more toughness replenishment for us when we're playing with everyone, granting us more survivability at all times when we're playing with our team. And with Mobile Emplacement, you'll gain a 20% damage reduction whenever you're braced with your Ripper, so don't be shy to unload on some heretics. I love smashing with this build because it uses a strike down focused weapon, meaning scoring any single target damage will instantly replenish 20% of our toughness on hit, not kill. But to make that deal even sweeter, because we're going to be doing wide sweeps as well, I also took the best defense for the same replenishment to toughness but with hitting multiple targets. And lastly, so we don't get stuck in place, we can hit fire our Ripper to grant us 20% movement speed for 2 seconds with unstoppable momentum. Now with all of these talent points, we also scoop up some really great operative modifiers. These being boost to range damage, reload speed, suppression, toughness, and toughness damage reduction. This Ogrim build will have you saying let her rip because all you'll be doing is laying them down to rest eternally. <laughs> Alright, corny jokes aside, I really do love this build. Every time I see a Maelstrom pop up with a chance to turn specialists on the monstrosities, I know it's going to be a breeze through the entire match because of the utilization of all these talents. You have tons of survivability mixed in with a generous amount of damage, and that makes me a very happy Ogren. I mean, you'll see firsthand in this Auric Damnation Maelstrom match how much fun I had when a monstrosity appeared and then quickly disappeared. All in all, all I hope is that I made some Ogren players out there feel even stronger with this build. Anyways, I'm going to go protect the little ones in another match, but until next time, my name is Zen, and I hope to see you again real soon. Enjoy the rest of the match, and have a great weekend.
should be a useful tool, Ogren.
been taken to prevent us getting infected. If I thought you were going to be curious, would I be exorcising you after the mission? It's better than no plan. Blight. Secret brute. What's the topic in That. 
Okay. 